So there was a lizard in my shower, so I said hello to it, and the person showering next to me was like, Hi. I wasn't sure whether to carry on the conversation or be like, Sorry, I was talking to a lizard. It should be my birthday every day. You would be very old. Oh, what a weird thing to say to someone on their birthday. Believe the audacity of this man. Y'all ever sleep from 1700 to 2200 and call it an app because... Uh, I thought this was about years, but yes. Ah, nothing says self-care like a 500-year-long nap. Sounds good right now, actually. That's on. Nah, that's off. Just how I like it. I just saw someone come into shoppers and ask if they sold serotonin, and if that isn't the biggest mood, I don't know what is. He was an older guy, so he probably didn't know what serotonin was. Still a mood, though. Do it. I checked this blog to see what other suggestions there were, and there were none. And now that I look at it closer, the URL does say suggestion, singular. So I don't know what I expected. Guys, quick, let's go set up a spirit Halloween in the empty Facebook. If Tun... Tunblr... Tunblr? Tunblr. Ever goes down, I will just write my posts down and mail them to all of my mutuals. Yeah, if Tumblr ever does die, you can just do that for me, guys. The crunch... Of a folded kettle cooked chip. That does sound mildly pleasant. Andy, give them what they want. Just watch me. Pat, I'll write Tumblr posts with my right hand and post memes with my left. I'll take a potato chip and eat it. Love the adrenaline rush of making plans and following through on them. I said I was gonna go to the mall today, and here I am. Who knows what I'll do next? Infinite possibilities! Is this what people without executive dysfunction feel like? The weather is a little bit gloomy. Me and the mutuals chanting, Soup, 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 soup! Andy, join me on that. My old man once said to me, Your thoughts are so random and unconnected. We were just talking about the carnival. How did you get started on wasps? So I told them, they're not unconnected. We were talking about going to the carnival, and the carnival is on the same fairgrounds they used to use for the rodeo. And one time at the rodeo, my brother spilled Sprite on himself, and a bee went up his shirt and stung him. And bees die when they sting, but wasps don't. And I was wondering why. So I asked you. And he said, that makes no sense. And for the life of me, I can't understand how anyone thinks of anything if not by this exact process. Oh God. It's not just me. These are the four types of non-binary people. Oh yes, neutral gender, neutral presentation, feminine gender, masculine presentation, masculine gender, feminine presentation, and Lancer. Here's the thing. We all agree that Jack Black is an amazing fit for Bowser. Charlie Day has voice acted before in the Lego movie as a very well received and distinct character, so he could probably do well as Luigi. Peach's voice, not to insult Samantha Kelly, is incredibly generic, so Anya Taylor-Joy can probably nail it. You're fooling yourself if you think Keegan-Michael Key can't do a great Toad voice. Hell, even Seth Rogen, as washed up and exhausting as he is, can probably do a sufficient enough voice for Donkey Kong. It's literally just Chris Pratt. And nobody has any faith in his voice acting abilities because literally every character he plays since 2014 has been Chris Pratt but X. Even in the Lego movie, his character was a generic milk toast dude made out of Lego, AKA Chris Pratt but Lego. Chris Pratt is the original Sonic movie design of the Mario film in that he will single handedly drag the film down to hell. And the only way to save it is to completely excise him from the movie. There, I just saved you 14 fucking video essays on why the Super Mario movie might go down badly. All right! Yes, I know I'm a hypocrite because I use Apple and Google products and they're spying on me completely anyways, but there's something about Alexa that viscerally disgusts me and feels like a bridge too far. And I'll tell you why. She has a normal ass name. I don't know many people named Siri. I don't know anybody who would name their child Google. I know four Alexas. So, that's probably why. If there's a heaven's no and a hell yes, why isn't there a purgatory maybe? Mmm, perhaps. When will Ted himself finally show up to the talk? The final boss. 
You guys know TED Talk stands for Technology, Entertainment, and Design Talks, right? I will not let Ted hide behind these lies any longer. Reveal himself to me! I just came up with a horrible drawing game. First artist draws a human OC. Second artist draws that OC's persona. Third artist draws a humanized version of that persona without seeing the original OC. Fourth artist draws a persona for that character. And so on and so forth. Also known as Telephone. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! Auntie, I know what we need to do for next Gartic phone game. Today I learned that the count in Sesame Street does not count all the time to teach children numbers. In folklore, vampires have erythromania, or an obsession with numbers. This derives from the old superstition that throwing poppy seeds on the ground stopped vampires because they had to count them all first. I like the poster's implications that the producers of Sesame Street did not put a counting vampiric count on a children's educational series to teach kids how to count. This was just an incidental side effect of their fidelity to obscure vampire folklore. I mean, it could be. Homies, is it gay to turn on notifications for your mutuals? How weird is it that I have two pieces of glass sitting in front of my eyeballs so I don't mistake a small child for a garbage can? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Wait. There's Christmas adverts already? Get spooky or get the fuck out! It's Halloween!